Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Today we'll talk about how to diagnose a patient in your dental office. But before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button, press like, and open the notification bell. Now, the technique that is being used until now for determining whether it is caries or no is visual tactile together with radiograph in order to determine whether it is caries or no. We can differentiate between an active and a rested caries by the color only. For the active caries, it is white yellow color, whereas for the arrested or inactive caries, brown black in color. For the treatment, we provide treatment for the active because it is active, so the caries activity has not stopped, so it might cause, uh, it might invade the pulp and cause pain for the patient, whereas for the inactive caries, already the caries activity had stopped, so no treatment for this case. Now, if we have caries on the enamel, there is no pain. Why? Because it does not have any nerve or blood supply. If we have caries on dentine, it will be a sign of reversible pulpitis because it is receiving its blood and nerve supply from the pulp immediately. The symptoms the patient might experience is localized sharp pain and pain that is short duration to last only for a few seconds, then it will go and it can be induced by hot, cold and sweet food. So the patient will tell you whenever I drink cold water, I feel pain, but it lasts for a few uh, period of time, like for a few uh, seconds, then it will disappear. So this is a sign of reversible pulpitis. And the reason it is called reversible because once you treat the cause, which is caries, the uh, pulp will immediately uh, will uh, return back to normal. It will not be inflamed anymore, and the pain will subside down by itself. So that's why it's reversible. You can treat it. Here is a bite wing X-ray in order to confirm uh, the patient is having reversible pulpitis. As you can see, there is a lateral radiolucency on the tooth that is not deep enough reaching the pulp. So it is only on the uh, enamel and somewhat on the uh, dentine. Okay, and uh, that's how you can confirm your diagnosis. So as I said previously, the treatment is operative treatment, meaning that removing the caries only from the dentine. No need to invade the pulp. Now, if we have caries on the pulp, it will be a sign of irreversible pulpitis, which means that once the pulp is inflamed, the only treatment in this case will be either root count treatment or extraction of the tooth, depending whether it is questionable or no. Here, the symptoms the patient will experience is a spontaneous dull pain that lasts for several minutes. And he will say that I'm having night pain. I cannot sleep at night. I have a very severe, long lasting pain in comparison with reversible, severe, short pain. Here is a parapical x-ray showing the caries activity is very deep, reaching the pulp. So the only treatment in this case will be an RCT. And determining whether it's extraction or no, we need to ask the restorative doctor or prosthodontist. In this uh, case, the treatment will be an RCT, root canal treatment, because it is uh, still we can save the tooth. Now, to differentiate whether it is reversible or irreversible pulpitis, we need to ask the patient, does the pain keep you up at night? If it is, then it is irreversible. Do painkillers help? If it is, then reversible pulpitis. Do the cold drinks elevate the pain? If it is, then it is irreversible pulpitis. If we have a large deep cavitation reaching the pulp, but the patient is not experiencing any pain, he's just experiencing that he's having a hole in his tooth. So what are the symptoms? Now here the diagnosis will be necrotic pulp because the pulp is dead, meaning that it is no pain anymore. So the symptoms, he's not having any pain, but if you ask him, did he have a pain previously? He will say, yes, I had the pain previously, but then it disappeared. So these are all signs of necrotic pulp. So here, the same image, I took it previously. Here, just we need to ask the patient, are you having pain now? If it is, then it will be irreversible pulpitis, or you can say symptomatic irreversible pulpitis. Are you having or not having pain? No, doctor, I'm not having pain. So this is necrotic pulp.
Another diagnosis we have for irreversible pulpitis is with symptomatic apical periodontitis. Here, the periodontal ligament is inflamed and causing pressure on the bones. So the main symptom is pain on biting. And also you will have a bone resorption. In the x-ray, you will see a radiolucency on the, at the apex of the teeth, which indicates the patient is having bone resorption. It appears radiolucent, black. So if it is a small radiolucency at the apex of the tooth, then this is irreversible pulpitis with asymptomatic apical periodontitis. Most likely you will not experience any pain on biting. But if the radiolucency is big enough, then he will likely experience pain on biting because it will cause the pressure on the bone. Then we will name it as with symptomatic apical periodontitis or acute exacerbation of chronic apical periodontitis. We have another diagnosis, which is acute apical abscess. The cause is infection going beyond the apex. Here, the patient will experience a severe spontaneous pain due to pressure coming from the pus, because what is an abscess is just a pus, and extreme tenderness to touch or extreme tender to palpation or percussion. Now here, acute apical abscess that is associated with swelling, the treatment will be drainage to relieve the pressure because the patient is having severe spontaneous pain due to the uh, pus that is pressing on the bone, causing uh, severe pain for the patient. So therefore, the treatment will be drainage of the pus, as simple as that. Now the same symptoms the patient will experience in acute apical abscess is already also experiencing in chronic apical abscess. But the difference between them is that the acute apical abscess associated with swelling, whereas chronic apical abscess associated with sinus tract. And you can trace it via gutta perca in order to know which tooth is affected. Also the treatment will be an RCT. Now we have another uh, diagnosis, which is penis, penis abscess or redrink abscess. Uh, it appears as a radiolucent lesion, okay, and the cause is inadequate root canal depridement or cleaning of the root canal. It is a mistake that is done by many dentists. So you need to warn your patient that you might experience a severe pain that may be worse than before if I did inadequate root canal depridement. So here's the treatment we need to do, endo-retreatment or repeat the RCT again, all over again. Lastly, we have is the condensing osteitis, which appears as a radio-opaque lesion, which is white in color. The cause is mild irritation from pulpal disease. The symptom will be tender to percussion and the treatment will be an RCT. Like it's uh, rarely to see such a condition. So I will not focus on that. Thank you everyone for watching my video. I hope you liked this video and if you liked it, uh, just uh, press the uh, like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, open the notification bell to receive my upcoming videos. Goodbye now.